Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 19th of 2021. Well, it is titled Palomar 6 globular star cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is one of an example of one of several hundred globular star clusters that are part of our Milky Way galaxy. And they are essentially globs of stars and small uh, and many satellites of our own galaxy. So these are some of the very earliest remnants of our galaxy dating back to the very earliest history. And in fact, the estimate of this one is that these stars, there are stars here that are very much older than many star times older than our sun and in fact 12 and a half billion years old. Now if you consider the age of the universe that is only about a billion years after the universe formed. So these globular star clusters were some of the first things to form in the universe. And by studying them and looking at their ages, we can get constraints on the age of the universe. Because certainly the a universe has to be older than any of the stars or clusters or other objects within it, since nothing could have survived the Big Bang that created our universe. So here when we see the cluster, we see a large tight grouping of stars and a globular cluster is one where those stars are bound together. So there is enough gravity that they remain together over time. Now that is not the case with all star clusters. Some star clusters that form do not have sufficient gravity and the stars eventually dissipate. So it is these globular star clusters that are quite important to astronomers because they can remain for many billions of years and give us a way of studying the age of the universe as well as studying the process of stellar evolution and how stars evolve. So as we look at the stars at different stages here, we see essentially a group of stars where they all formed at one time from the same material. So the idea in science is to eliminate as many variables as you can so you can test others. So by studying star clusters like this one, we can study the effects of mass on star formation, star formation and stellar evolution. So we can look at various types of clusters with this being one kind and study how stars age based on their on their mass. And that's because not some of the other variables that might come into uh, view here would be ones that don't that are now all essentially the same since all of these stars together would have formed at the same time and it gives us a way to be able to better understand star formation and stellar evolution as well as studying the age of our universe. So that was our picture of the day for October 19th of 2021. It was titled Palomar 6 Globular Star Cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Lucy in the Sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.